Bay State a chance to, in fact, level the game right here. And this is the supreme challenge for the youngsters of Oregon. Uh, Josh Criddle uh, got to take better care of the basketball. He and Garrett Simla mis miscommunication, but, but defensively, a pretty sound unit on the floor with Churchill Odia and the Kendrick Lamar. Good play by Porter. Well, there's the Porter. Size. Uh, really hard. Uh, he plays like a water bug like. I was thinking like a baby Robinson play that kind of a, of a way on the defensive end. Yeah, great job flooding the passing lane and then nice job of, of picking his spots. He, he kind of just kind of laid back most of the game. Didn't see that kind of aggression. And then right, when you need it most, when you need an easy, easy score, he is there to get the steal and get to the free throw line. Denis Clemente, third foul for K-State. Tonight. First trip to the foul line doesn't get there often. The student section behind us, the pit crew there, mimicking Frank Martin as he lets us watch him. Yeah, we're hearing in between breaks uh, too, Martin, but you know, they, they're saying the same thing. How could you not want to play for the ball? He's so involved and so intense. It's almost like Frank Martin earlier in this half told his team, I want the ball going inside every yeah. trip. Yeah, and, and Ron Anderson has done a nice job. Cologne, when he was on the floor, missed a couple of real cripples inside, but they've done a nice job feeding the post. Right. It's just almost like I said, just post these guys up. And, well, you know, Clemente struggling with everything but runners and floaters and half-court heaves and then and pulling, giving you absolutely nothing. That's, that's kind of option number three for K-State, and it's worked. And you pointed this out, pulling still on the bench. Yeah. One thing to, to not score and not shoot the ball well, but to, to allow Kawan Porter to consistently burn you on three pointers. There's another inside play. Ryan Anderson, who's shown some outstanding back to the basket footwork. But Longmire beat him down the floor and a foul. And Frank Martin may really explode here. Kendrick Longmire, Pascagoula, Mississippi. Red shirted his first year, but is really going to. Solid job this season. He's, he's a defensive guy, defensive stopper, but he's been able to generate some points for some much needed points for Oregon this season, just under nine points a game. Well, Kendrick Longmire for the three point play. Double bonus now for Oregon, by the way. Every K State foul, the final 645. Got in. And the rebound tipped to Criddle. K-State has been owning the glass in the second half. Paul. Rebounds in the second half, 15 to six for Kansas State. Inside points, all there's Ron Anderson scored 10 in the second half, all right near the bucket. Now down the stretch here, you're down five. You need some offense. Ernie Kent and uh, Ron Anderson comes into this game averaging four points a game. So I think he would warrant some defensive help, a double team, something. K-State continues with Jacob Pullen, the leading scorer on the bench. And Churchill Odia defending Ron Anderson, trying to front him, keep the ball away from him as much as possible in the post. We have got the no call. Looked like a good no call. And Clemente hits the runner. Clemente on the move. He's got 17. Merriweather harassing Tawan Porter. And Merriweather harassing Porter. Porter stumbling away. The right foot of it, but he's going to get two shots again. Every foul by K State. Yeah, I mean, you're a 93% free throw shooter as Tawan Porter. You got a guy up in you as tough as Merriweather is. You got to initiate contact, which he did. 
And here's Odia right there that you know, possibly could have been called an offensive foul, but here's Clemente on the move. More to his right. Got to force him left with Garrett Sim, but he does a great job just kind of finding the angle off the backboard. So someone, I guess a K-State fan, yelled out right before the release on the free throw. Porter, 85% career at the line. So over by four again. Porter got tweaked a little bit. They're going to sit and have the trainer take a look. Cameron Brown is in. Do you see uh, after this offensive possession, in case they go back into the zone, which they've done when, when Juan Ford has been out of, out of the game. No ball. Wow. Arrow Oregon. And, and if, you know, if you're going to make a bad play, that's the worst possible place to be sitting on your behind right in front of Frank Martin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you're going to mess up, <laughs> you don't want it to be right there in front of coach. So Frank Martin spent 15 years as a high school coach, seven years as a head coach, a couple of state championships. So responsible for the development of Udonis Haslam, Steve Blake, a couple of NGA guys. That's a pretty good resume for a high school coach, yeah, isn't terrific, it? Terrific resume. Two guys like that. Yep. Cameron Brown and all on his own. That was a total solo act. Mente back. There, is, there, there it is. is. Well, I'll tell you, just keep him moving. There was the speed, and there was a great in-and-out maneuver right near the free throw line that allowed him to get some daylight toward the basket. That's a beautiful exhibition of ball handling. So if I'm K-State, I tell him, never stop. Just keep moving. Cameron Brown out of control. Solo. I think got rid of it. Humphrey. Block? I believe so. Yeah, I, I thought Merriweather moved, slid yeah. over just at the last moment. But watch. Denis Clemente, here's in and, in and out right there. It gets him by Matthew Humphrey, and does a great job finding the backboard. Boy, he is, he is some kind of quick. Again, I, just a question of he and, and Jacob Pullen kind of finding shots that will satisfy both of them. But Pullen's going to be here for the home stretch. Had a, he sat, I mean, Frank Martin used that, that bench as a, as a teaching tool. He sat him for a long time. Turnovers, lack of defense, closing out on, on, on Tawan Porter. So now let's see if the message has been sent. I think Pullen could be huge here down the stretch for K-State if he's got his head on right. Oh, if he missed two, but Odia, quick to the ball. And that's where that... that, that New lineup arrangement that, that came about last year, I think, helps that second guy on free throws, miss free throws, especially miss free throws that can go work. directly toward yeah. the baseline. Yep. Such a hard blockout angle. Deep three. Garrett Sim. 16%. Just how much confidence, how much guts, how much nerve, how much savvy do you have to have to take a shot as a freshman in this kind of a situation? Garrett Sim has all of the above. Bullen, and that's batted out with Stay with Kansas State. And again, that was kind of what we're talking about the other end. That was a solo act. Well, up to this point, K-State with a lot of success. First going inside to Anderson, posting up. Clemente finding the driving lanes to attack and, and, and shoot shots on the move. That time, Pullen just, uh, just pulling, pulling from about 25 feet. Foul inside, Longmire. To get called for Oregon. That's his fourth. The other guy that hasn't been much of a factor tonight is Dominic Sutton. Yeah. Sutton mainly, you know, as you, you talked about defending O.J. Mayo last year, he's kind of their defensive stopper, but he had a nice game against Kentucky, 15 points, good little medium-range game, but he's been uh, non-existent this evening. In fact, Sutton's got a, you know, something might be wrong with him. He's got a warm-up top on sitting on the K-State bench. Under four. Oregon hanging. Five up. Three nice. up. Nice move. Wow, what an up and under. 
display by Ron Anderson. I mean, Merriweather did do him any, any favor by bringing another defender to the area, but he still made something out of it. And without, and for those just joining us, without Jovan Catron or Michael Dunnigan, Oregon doesn't have that post defender to stop that. Longmire with a good crash. And then Samuels swats his put back attempt. Well, Ron Anderson taking advantage of that lack of size for Oregon. 12 second half points, and K State's within three. Your team hates you. Looks like.